Hello everyone, what's up? Well today we're going to record a new feeding video. So this one will be tarantula feeding video 73 slash 74 because I couldn't recover the original 73. So there's 126 uh, tarantulas to feed and we'll see uh, which ones do the greatest attacks. And also include the new keys that we got, the B. abopulosum, the S. dichromata, and the S. rebronitans. So, Alright, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with my Acanthoscuria broccolihirsi, the giant white bandit, 5 inch female. Named Sasha. Here is Derek, Acanthoscuria geniculata, the Brazilian white knee. Giant white knee. Amazing. Here's uh, Lita, Avic Avic female. <laughs> she went fishing for her supper. No, I mean breakfast, it's uh, 8.50 a.m. Nice. She's doing well. Alright, here's Anna, my 6 inch female, Evicularia hurriana, the Ecuadorian woolly pink toe. Yep, grabbed it. Alright, here's Molly, my A. Leda, the Puerto Rican pink toe. Nice. Alright, here's Mona, my other aid Leda. This one here might be the suspect female. I think it is, I think it is a female. There we go, I think she grabbed it. Yep. This one here is Cab, my largest uh, AVIC. This one here is a Nivicularia urticans, the Peru pink toe. Cool. Alright, so this one here is my quarter inch Brachypalma albopolosum, Honduras curly hair. So I'm giving her a little small carpet beetle larva. Ooh, nice. That's just awesome. See, I just wanted to share with you that quarter inch spiderlings still have to eat. Cool. Alright, so this one here is my quarter inch Brachypalma albopolosum, Honduras curly hair. So I'm giving her a little small carpet beetle larva. Ooh, nice. That's just awesome. See, I just wanted to share with you that quarter inch spiderlings still have to eat. Cool. This one here is Kira. She is uh, another albopolosum. Was slightly larger than Mila when I raised her last year. You can see she's going like a weed. And then some. Nailed it. Around three or four years later, you're going to get a specimen like this. This is uh, Curly Sue, my adult female. And unfortunately, uh, she doesn't look like she's hungry. Let's try my Brachypalma erratum, the flame knee. And of course, the crickets has to jump out of its old enclosure. Ooh, awesome. All right, here is Katana, my Brachypalma bomi, the Mexican fire leg. Already I'm starting to see a bald spot, which is normal for these species. 
Alright, so she's a six inch female. Perfect. Alright, here is Katana, my Brachypalma Bomi, the Mexican Fireleg. Already I'm starting to see a bald spot, which is normal for the species. Alright, so she's a six inch female. Perfect. Oh, Melina is now in pre molt. So don't feed her, and this time she's going to get a create upgrade next time she molts. Best not to disturb her. Alright, here's Petunia, 5 inch female, Brachypalma Classy, the Mexican pink. Beautiful. You could just look at her legs, how incredibly hairy and pink they are. A very gorgeous species. Alright, here is my favorite Brachypalma smithy, the Mexican Redney Scarlet. She's a 5 inch female. <laughs> Expected no less from her. Oh, well, looky here, Annette molted, and look at that, she's about a inch and a quarter and already starting to show her adult colors. You can see the prominent red abdomen, and her legs are beginning to blacken out. That's pretty cool. So, I won't be able to feed her. Here's Fantasia, Brachypalma Dagens Cross Verdesi, the Mexican Fantasy. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Sir so after Jarvis Marshalli, the straight horn baboon. Huh. Finally back to eating again. Nice horn on her head. Carpes actually. And here's Greg, the male Sea Marshali. Yeah, I got it from the Brady Bunch. Things an awesome show. Wow, that was lightning fast. This one here is my Kilobrachis guanasiensis, the Chinese Vaughn. I don't think it needs a new enclosure just yet. I think maybe one more molt. I have a big rehouse video that I'll be probably making in the next coming week. Gee. It's just dropping. She nabbed it. And again, that's Julian, three and a half inch female. Love those Kilobrachis. Scytheracanthus living stony, the Livingston's tarantula. Mystery, 5 inch female. Alright, she's going to inspect it. <laughs> what a lazy grab, but hey, she hasn't been featured in a while, so there you go. Cyclosternum fasciatum, the Costa Rican. Tiger rump. I was going to say zebra. Let's see if Stella eats. Wait. There we go. Awesome. Enjoy. Syracosmus Perez Melesi, the Bolivian dwarf. Lucy, see she'll eat. A 
Ooh, cool. That's what a C. Perez Melissa looks like. Uh, it's around a inch and a quarter. Here's Renee, my burgundy skeleton, a Fulpus Refescence. Just grabbed it. Here's Amber, Euthalus species red. And I'm sure she's not interested in food. I guess not. Not hungry. But very Hannibal too. So no interesting attacks sightings yet, but uh, here is Roy, my Grandma Sola Pulchra, Brazilian Black. This one here is the male. <laughs> he just grabbed it. Very cool. Alright, so for Chalco Gold Mies now, the Gramasola Pull Stripes. This one here is Peach. Here is Wendy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Grab that one, no problem. And here's Mario, the mature male. Really should do a Mario game. Alright, so let's go ahead and feed him. Oh, bad aim. Ooh, he went for it. Nice. You need my help. Yep, definitely mature male. Alright, some Grandma Solo Rosea. Jillian Rose. This one here is the normal form. Michaela, five and a half inches. Let's see how well she does today. Not refusing. As expected. Here's the Rosea RCF, the red form rose hair. Bloom. Wow. Haplopalma albostriatum, the Thailand zebra. This is Iris. 2.75 inch female. <laughs> Great. Olotheli Incy, the Trinidad Olive. Here's Abby. Oh, she wants it. Oh my god, look at her. She's not the gold form, but She's the normal form. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Just watch how lightning quick she's going to attack that cricket. There we go. See what I tell you? Very awesome looking species. Oops, got to go change battery. Check this out. I got another molt. My Lampropelma Valaciopes. The Singapore blue or the violet. Another T to sex. My god, she's big. Think maybe next uh, molt. Out she goes into those one gallon jars from Walmart. Here is uh, Lassidora fracta, the smoky gray bird eater. Willow. Wow, cool. Let's try repeating that with my Kluge, the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Oh, interesting. Alrighty, now for some Lassidora Para Hibana now. Salmon Pink Bird Eater, this one here is Pierre, penultimate male.
Good job. Alright, let's just give Daniela a try. Goma is still in pre molt so I'm not feeding her. Impressive. And here's Daisy, the other LP female. This one's the larger one. Or I think it's Daniela. There we go. As Daisy would say, go, go, go. Yeah, from Arrow Cart. Alright, this one here is Lenotheli Megatholoides, the Bolivian funnel web, which is a diplorid. I think maybe we even have to assist it. Whoa! That was fast. There we go. I think Darius might be eating something uh, I fed him two weeks ago, but uh, this one I'll try to feed again. Uh, this one here is a Nandu Tripepi, the giant strawberry blonde bird eater. Ah, oh, there we go. What a pig. Yeah, he molted, so I think this is his second feeding since he last molted. Here's Ophelia, or Thonoctinus oratabalius, the Thailand fringe. Well, got that one. I didn't even see it, so... Anyway, cool. Here's Jade, Pomphibedius antinus, the steely blue leg, from Bolivia, 7-inch mature female. Yeah, that was a gentle attack from her. Here's four Mictopus Cancerides, the Haitian brown bird eater. Isabella, four and a half inch female. Let's see, this one here is my very pissed off spider. Ooh, okay. Look at that, she sees my tongs. How cute. Let her have it. And who's the meanest one of all? You are. Anyway, suspect male P. Fasciata, the Sri Lankan ornamental. Ooh, nice. Now, you could see the purple on his carapace, which is looking good. So I know this one might be a suspect male. But yeah. Here is Mia, my gorgeous female Pilcothera metallica, the Goody Sapphire ornamental. I think she wanted my tongs, but she wanted the food. Alright, we'll just leave her in there. Okay. Let's try for take two. There we go. That's what I wanted her to grab, not the tongs. <laughs> See, this is why I don't handle my Pimentelica. So, because someone asked me about, do I handle these species, and as you can see, no I don't. Wouldn't you know, my P. ornata, this is the juvenile, was side by side the Lamberpelma valsiopes, and sure enough, this one also molted. So, it's not very likely I'll be feeding her. Uh, this one might be a male, so I'm going to show you my adult female. Here's Joelle. She's finally out in the open to get a good feeding video of this one. Uh, this is uh, Pocotheria ornata, the fringed ornamental. Mature female, around 7 inches. 
Watch her grab it. There we go. That is one nice pure nada. Let me get up close and personal. This species. Pretty cool. Just found out a molt from my P. Patterson-y. Ghost ornamental. This one I told you was a suspect male. And sure enough, it is now a mature male. Yeah. You can see how green they are compared to the female, which is supposed to be white, black, and full of patterns. But, yep. Mature male already. Cool. Here's Zelda, P. regalis female. I'm going to prime her up again, so that way I can pair her up with Link. Just been way too busy this year. Oh, I think she's primed. I'm going to make them tonight. Yeah, I'm going to make them tonight, and, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, she's not eating. So it's definitely a good sign. All right, cool. All right, mating attempt uh, two for the Pira Gals will be today. Sephora, Pocotheria rufolata, the red site ornamental. All right, Tina, who is a very beautiful four-inch female, or maybe three and a half, really. Uh, Pilcotheria Tigrina Wasseli, the West Little Tiger Ornamental. I'm hoping she eats. There we go. Alright, now moving on to more arboreals now. This one here are some of Post Camera Giant, turned at Chevron. Trina, 7-inch female. Oh, nailed that one. Samopolis Pulker, Pema Blonde. This is Rosalina, 4.5-inch, I would say, mature female. There we go. No problem for her. Alright, this one here is a Pseudohaplopus species long-haired, uh, the yellow banded bird eater, formerly known as Cyclosterum schmardae. There we go. That's Larry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heh, yeah, I do watch the Three Stooges, you know. Alright, here's Nerissa, Cherneochilus cordatus, the Kilimanjaro mustard baboon. Uh, yep, grabbed it. There's a little update on the Salino Cosmia Dichromata that I got from Shannon yesterday. As you can see, she made a little burrow for herself. I don't think she's interested in food for the moment, so yeah, here it is. I think she's in heavy pre molt. It is a New Guinea, not New Guinea, uh, New Guinea black femur, it comes from Australia. I didn't really know much about the species until it, people commented on the video yesterday. But uh, thanks everyone for giving me some input on the species. So it's an old world and I'll treat it much like my S. crassy peeps. And these will be very nasty as adults. So, yep, good to know. Alright, I traded four Gigas uh, for this lovely female Cerecopalma uh, Rebronitans, which is the Panamanian Red Rump. So let's we'll see if she'll eat. I named her Roberta. Ooh, I think she's ready. <laughs> nice. That was a great first attempt to feed this one here. 
And uh, yeah, a lovely female. It's kind of brownish, but wait till it molts. You'll see the real colors of the species. So here are our tap gigas, orange tree spider. You only got four of these guys in you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're explaining I just got, I only have four left. Not for sale, so um, I, like I said, I traded the four of them off for the SR Bonitons. So, that's pretty good. I think this one might be a male. Here's number two. <laughs> nice. Somersault. Alright, Gigas 3. And not what I wanted to do, but... There we go. Going out for lunch. Uh, I guess this one molted out, so no feeding and it ain't look happy. So before moving on to more Pappies, the Ester Carmata did in fact eat. I just uh, looked it up. So an unexpected of the ventral shot. I know the camera's not picking up very well. I don't really see an epigastric furrow. Then again, it might be a bit too young to ventral sex correctly, but uh, this might be a suspect male. So uh, if Shannon, if because I know you have one, uh, if that one ends up being a female, uh, we can try to mate the, these two together and hopefully you can get a good sack out of it. Huh, must be Molt City today, my lucky day. This time I got the mature female to molt. Looks very beautiful. Here's uh, Tapnikinius Sancti Vincenti, the St. Vincent's tree spider. And as you can see, the colors are absolutely remarkable on this rare Tapnikinius. So it's a full grown 3 inch female. And uh, see if she'll eat. She'll probably eat. There we go. Have a look at this beauty. Kind of reminds me of the Aversi color and the, and the color slightly, at, at least from their plum legs and the hind. Almost like a black bluish appearance on the front legs. And a off green carapace. Gorgeous. Alright, here's Hans, mature male, burgundy goliath bird eater, Therophosa sturmi. See if he's hungry. Oh, definitely. Looks it. There we go. Perfect. Good job, boy. Pretty old male, though. I guess he just wants one. Last but not least, Zenithus Imanus, the Colombian Lesser Black Tea. <laughs> and what a better way to end a feeding video, of course, with Maggie. She just freshly came from the groomers. Hey, yeah. So this is what she wants. This is what you want, eh? Okay, sit, sit, roll over, roll over. <laughs> She's trying to itch. I love that. She's so cute. Roll over, roll over. Paw, sit, paw, other paw. Itchy, yeah? Huh? Other paw, other paw, other paw. Good girl, high five. Dance. There we go. <laughs> well guys, hope you enjoyed this awesome video and stay tuned for more videos to come.